Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 13. In this tutorial we'll talk about the use of materials on mesh objects. I prepared an alternate layout for this. We'll look at this and here we have the preview window and down here are all the properties tabs that we can use to change materials. We're only going to talk about the diffuse and specular aspects of materials in this tutorial. First uh, you, to create a new material, you press the plus button here. You can give it a name. I'm going to call this blue plastic. And to make it blue, I'll change the diffuse color to blue. If I wanted to, I could change the specularity of it. It's going to show very slightly here. You can, for instance, choose the blend specularity. It's a little bit different rendering, but we'll stick to the, the one that we had from the start. If you increase the intensity, there's going to be more specularity. If you lower the hardness, it's going to give a softer feel, like one here will completely bleed out on the entire surface, but if you give it a 10, it looks softer. I'll decrease the specularity to 0.5 you can see that this has a more velvety surface. Uh, we'll keep it at 50. And I'll close down this because we're only going to have different colors on our materials. In this particular tutorial, we'll add another one by pressing the plus button here and change that to red. by using this. If we now look here, we have three materials and the one that has a zero in front of it means that it's not assigned to anything. The last material that you were working on will be automatically assigned to the selected object that's selected here in, in, the, in the 3D window. Like here now it's red. Go back here. Uh, so to if you want to keep these materials, regardless if they're assigned to anything, you can press the F button here. It creates uh, create fake users. So when you save your file, your materials will be saved with it. So we'll make sure that we'll retain all these materials like that. So now they're all, they all have fake users. So we had um, I want yellow plastic too. And just change the color. And I also want to press the F button and then green plastic. Change the color. Press the F button. So now we can see we have four different materials. We're going to go back to the default layout to start assigning uh, this material to an object. And when we look at this object here, we can see that it only has one what we call material slot here in this window to be able to assign several materials to an object, you have to increase the number of slots. To do that, you press the plus key here, and it just copies. And then you can assign, let's say you want the first one to be your blue plastic. And you click on the slots and you just assign it. Keep that the green, and then that one can get to be the red. This one here is the yellow. So now we have four materials that we intend to use for this object, but we can only, in object mode, assign one material at the time for the object. And in this particular case, it happens to be blue plastic because it's the top one. Then when we go into edit mode by pressing tab in the 3D window, you can I'm changing to face, yeah, it's face. 
you can now assign the materials. See the, ass the assign button here, it's open. So I have chosen blue plastic and I'll assign that to this. So if we go back to object mode, it's blue. If we press F12, it renders it as a blue cube. If we go back to 3D view and go press tab to get back to edit mode. What I want to do now is I want to extrude some of these faces and assign, before that I want to assign them other, other materials. So I'll use green plastic for this face here. I'll I have selected this face and then I assign it. If I press E for extrude, left mouse button, and I grab that arrow, then I will extrude a green material or vertices with the green materials. And I would like to have red plastic, choose the red plastic material slot. I select that face, E for extrude, left mouse button, grab that, oh sorry, I'll regret that. There I have to assign it, forgot to assign it, extrude. So, and yellow plastic and assign and extrude. So there, now you have four materials to this object. If I look at it through the camera view and I render it, it looks like this, like three building blocks. And we could um, do one more thing here. Can add a modifier, sub subdivision surface modifier. It's gonna kind of crumple it up a little bit, but uh, that doesn't matter right now. And change to smooth shading. And when we render this, okay, I hadn't selected it, so I'll go back to 3D view. And go back to edit mode, select everything by pressing A. And we have smooth shading, go back to object mode, press F12, and then it re it's rendered like that. So that's one way of assigning several materials to one object. And that this concludes this tutorial. Thank you for listening, and I talk to you soon.